quick update on the Saab this morning. Got the seat taken out, rewired it with the loom that I'd got from the scrap car in my last video. And let's see the result. Now, if you just watch, the airbag light is under the temperature and fuel gauge. You'll see it do a self-test. There it is. This is when you hold your breath, because it goes out and it usually came back on again. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's fixed. Thank goodness for that. You'll see some pictures there just up in the corner of my progress with that. Didn't want to take a video because I just wanted to get on with it. So now I can submit the car for its MOT. So what I want to do this morning is the engine bay has always bugged me a wee bit because it's, it's very tidy. Nothing's broken or cracked or missing, but it just needs a bit of a clean. So, thought I would give that a go. Let's open the bonnet and have a look to see what it looks like at the moment. And we'll check the oil while we're there as well. Right, so I'll pick you up. So you'll see there, everything's in order. It's not going to take much to get that cleaned up. The only thing that's there is there's a scratch there. But I think once I've cleaned it, I'm just going to touch that in with some paint. All along here as well. What I'll do is I'll degrease that and then I'll regrease the locks. Let's have a go. What I'll do is we'll use some of this gunk engine degreasing. I've had it for years so we'll see if it does any good. Uh, and on the less dirty bits, like for the bodywork and stuff, I've got um, speed detailer, so we'll use some of that. I'm not sure whether to spray it on the thing and then on there. I'll just spray it on this. That's turned out not too bad, actually. Cleaned everything up where I could. Haven't gone right into the depths of the engine because I don't want to start mucking about with anything down there, but I think I did alright given the timing materials. I'm quite happy with that. 